Hi, I am Santanu. Uh, now I am going to implement the logic of Fibonacci series, uh, and it is a common question while attending interview. Uh, uh, how can be it implemented, and what is the logic behind it? Uh, now I will explain it. Uh, so I think uh, it will be easily understood by you. So, so what is uh, Fibonacci series? Uh, the first element of Fibonacci series uh, is zero. So first element is zero, and uh, second element is one. Uh, third element is what? Zero plus one, so one. Uh, then fourth element one plus one, two. Then two plus one, three. Uh, 3 plus 2, 5, uh, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, and so on. So, this is the Fibonacci series. Uh, so, first element is 0 and second element is 1. So, how will I print this? So, what is the logic behind it? Uh, now I have to explain. So, uh, uh, I will assign zero means first element. First element is zero and second element is one. So I will assign as a variable. So suppose take it f zero and this is uh, f one. This is F1. So I will take. Uh, I will assign as. Uh, uh, I will assign as zero as F0 and one uh, as F1. So then I will add this one. Zero plus one equal to one, and store the final result means addition result uh, in F2. So. Uh, what is happening? So here, uh, what is happening? So here, f2 equal to f0 plus f1. So this one and uh, this one. Uh, f0 plus f1 equal to f2 means 0 plus 1 equal to 1 so uh, f0 plus f1 means f0 equal to 0 and f1 equal to 1 so 0 plus 1 uh, equal to 1 so this one this one will be stored in variable f2 so then what I have to do then uh, I will assign it this one this one I will assign as this one I will assign as F0 and this one I will assign as F1 so what I have to do uh, this uh, then I have to add 1 plus 1 uh, this is over means 0 plus 1 equal to 1 this is over then I have to add 1 plus 1 equal to 2 so I have to set f0 equal to 1 and f1 equal to 1 then this will add and uh, this will this will assign this will assign to a variable f2 so what is happening here how I will assign uh, one in f0 and this one uh, in f1 so how will assign so see here this is the logic this one 
and this one. So here what is done, uh, 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 previously, in previously uh, f1 equal to 1 and f1 equal to 1 and f2 equal to 1. Now f0 equal to 1 and f1 equal to 1. See the difference. Previously f1 equal to 1 and f2 equal to 1 but now f0 equal to 1 f1 equal to 1. So how this uh, happened? How this happened? So what I have to do? So uh, for this the logic is I have to set so f0 equal to f1 means this f1 value this is previous data means f1 equal to 1 this is previous uh, so uh, so here f1 equal to f0 means f1 I, I have to set this variable means 1 which was uh, previously uh, stored in f1 now it will be stored in f0 so f1 becomes f0 then here similarly uh, f2 will be f1 so f1 equal to f2 then this addition means f0 plus f1 equal to f2 then what is happening then this will then this will execute f2 equal to f0 plus f1 this will execute so this is the logic these three things these three things the, these are the logic uh, from my experiment uh, what I found and uh, so it's the logic so now uh, here you see I have implemented this so uh, So here uh, console dot write line. So first uh, user input for a range of series. User input means uh, suppose suppose I have to uh, and the Fibonacci series is an is a infinite series. Fibonacci series is a infinite series. So what I have to do? So user uh, user have to uh, input a given range means for this range means suppose 50 so Fibonacci series will print till the uh, till uh, means till the last item less than 50 so uh, here a user input for a range of series so here console dot write line enter a range of Fibonacci series and this uh, this will give this is for user input then initializing first second and addition result means third element so here I have taken what I have taken uh, first f0 equal to 0 so I have taken it f0 equal to 0 then I have taken f1 equal to 1 f1 equal to 1 I have taken then then uh, I have taken f2 equal to 0 because uh, I have to print f2 means I have to uh, print uh, the result result so uh, I have to print the result means first I have to print 0 so I have taken as f2 equal to 0 so here uh, uh, I have taken f2 equal to 0 then console dot write line 
Fibonacci series. This is the uh, this is for printing message. Fibonacci series. What is the Fibonacci series? Uh, Fibonacci series. Then uh, we'll print the result for this. So what is happening? Uh, while f2 smaller than equal to n. What is n? Uh, n is user input for the range, uh, final range, suppose 50 or 100. So 50 uh, f2 uh, uh, till f2 uh, smaller than equal to 50. Uh, this loop uh, will execute. This is a while loop. So this loop will execute till f2 smaller than equal to 50. Suppose user input is 50 and till f2 smaller than equal to 50, uh, it will execute this loop. So now console dot write f2. So f2 it will print f2. So what is f2? f2 equal to 0. So f2 will be 0. So first it will print as 0. So uh, what will print? First it will print as 0. Then then F0 equal to F1 means F1 uh, becomes as F0. F1 becomes F0 means this one. Uh, previously F1 equal to 1, so F0 becomes F1 means F0 becomes 1. And F2 becomes F1. F2 becomes F1. So F1 equal to 1. F2 equal to F1 means, sorry, sorry. So F2 equal to F1 means uh, F2 equal to 0 here. So 0 equal to means F1 equal to 0. So F2 equal to F0 plus F1. So here F0 equal to 1 and f1 equal to 0 so 1 plus 0 equal to 1 and it comes to here uh, 1 smaller than equal to n 1 smaller than equal to 50 so true then this loop will execute then console dot write f2 so what is the value of f2 here f2 equal to 1 so here then we will print 1 then we will print 1 and uh, this loop will execute till the uh, result will be less than or equal to 50. So now I uh, will see the output. Enter a range of Fibonacci series. Uh, suppose 100. Enter. And Fibonacci series 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, okay, 89. And it does not exceed, uh, exceed to 100. Till 100, the Fibona, all the Fibonacci series are printed. So, uh, uh, I think. Uh, uh, you are enjoyed my program so so thank you